Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Boone, coming at you guys with a brand new video. I know I didn't upload the last two days. I told you guys, all my friends that came down from college were all visiting me, so I didn't have any chance to make a video for this weekend. However, today I decided to make this video I've been planning on doing for a long time. I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna be talking about five different brands that are pretty like unheard of, uh, underappreciated, or just like unreally known. I'm curious if you guys have heard of any of these brands I'm gonna be introducing in this video today. I know you guys will probably know some of them, so let me know if you did know some of these brands before I made this video and also tell me which of these five brands is your guys favorite I'm really curious to see I also want to encourage you guys to drop any brands in the comments down below that I have not mentioned in this video that you think is unrecognized or unheard of and I'd love to like hear it and maybe make a video about it later on in the future because I do want to do another one of these top five underrated brands uh, videos just because I want to give more attention to some brands that are a lot less hype a lot less unknown also just FYI this list isn't really like in order of my favorite to like my least favorite I'm just kind of throwing all five out there for you guys. I'm going to start off with number five, Super Radical, which is one of the uh, brands I'm sure a lot of you have heard of before. Tyler Grosso started this brand himself. I think it's really, really popular in areas like uh, California, just West Coast in general, except Tyler Grosso himself is from New York, I believe. Uh, he used to work with ASAP Yams, and then he got involved with ASAP Mob until he started Super Radical, which has been around for like two years now, I believe. Uh, it's a really, really sick brand, honestly. I really like Super Radical. I actually have a couple pieces from them, and I buy a lot of stuff from their drops. So if you guys are interested in buying anything from this brand, uh, they're sold out of just about everything right now on their site, but you can hit me up on my store, see how select in the description down below, and I got some super radical items that will be going up for sale very soon, but let's get back into it. I'm not trying to advertise myself right now. Uh, their Gucci Mane tee they have, Adam22 is seen wearing it. That's one of my favorite designs. I actually wore that when I saw Gucci Mane at Bumper Shoot, a festival here in Seattle. Um, they also have like a ton of stuff having to do with like Bart Simpson that you've seen on Lil Peep, like their little Hellboy series. Uh, they just do a lot of ripoffs of different kind of things. I wouldn't want to call it like a ripoff, but they take like Thrasher designs, add their own spin to it. They did the same with Bart Simpson. And then they also just do some work with different like artists like Post Malone and Gucci Mane, like I said before. Um, this is a really cool brand that's definitely on the up right now. I like every drop, it seems to be stuff selling out quicker and quicker. So this is definitely a brand that is blowing up and I guarantee in the next year to two, you will be seeing a lot more of. Um, the next brand I want to talk with you guys about is one of my personal favorites. It's called Pleasure. I actually have a hoodie from this brand. The reason I like Pleasures so much is just because the font in the Pleasures uh, text is actually the Nirvana font, which is automatically is so sick to me. I love the Nirvana font. And they use a ton of old like 80s and 90s um, themes with music in a lot of their designs, which I think is so cool. They have the Smiths and Morrissey on some designs. They even got like Presley, Elvis Presley. <laughs> um, they got Kurt Cobain. They have, uh, they've got David Bowie. They've done so many different artists and they continue to introduce more and more. Um, I love Pledgers because they also have really cool pants as well as like their shirts and jackets. I love when a brand can do more than just like shirts and jackets. Like Pledgers actually has some really, really cool pants I enjoy a lot. Um, I don't think they've done any shoes. I know I've seen like FaZe Banks wear this brand as well as a couple other celebrities. So Pledgers is definitely getting some recognition. However, it's still in the process of kind of expanding as a brand. Um, their website's sick. I just, I cannot give like enough positivity to Pledgers. Really, really cool brand. Definitely on the up. One of my favorites in this list. Next, I'm going to be talking about Brain Dead. Out of all the brands in this list, I would say Braindead's the one I'm the newest to. It is a Los Angeles brand. Also, Pleasures is also Los Angeles. A lot of these brands I'm gonna be talking about are actually from LA, but yeah, uh, Braindead is a really, really crazy brand just because so many of their designs are very like horror core. Like, I know some of you might cringe at that, but like they they use a lot of kind of weird, like uncomfortable, like offsetting images. I think it's super cool. The designs are just so all over the place. That's why I like Braindead. Like, it kind of goes hand in hand with their name. Uh, the graphics they use are very like off putting offsetting they're like uh, they're just crazy they're just so original I really think brain dead is gonna be on the up uh, this upcoming year I really really like this brand and this, their designs are just all so original that's one of the things I love so much about uh, brain dead I definitely say it's one of the more original brands in this whole list just because their designs are just so crazy they're so out there um, the next brand I'm gonna be talking about is stray rats this is a Miami brand that's been around for a little bit. Um, it has some like known value to it. Uh, Denzel Curry wears it a ton because he's from uh, Miami, Florida. And I don't know, this brand really, really sick to me. Stray Rats definitely doesn't do really crazy designs. What I do like about this brand is they use really awesome colors. Like Stray Rats has so many weird colors they'll use in seasons. Um, also, like a lot of their designs are very clean. They're like 
phrase stray rats I think is really cool they'll introduce a lot of like rats and stuff in their um, items and I don't know I just think it looks very visually appealing you don't see rats too much um, used in clothing in my opinion and so stray rats kind of like made that as their own I'm not really sure why I like the brand stray rats so much they've just done a couple designs that really like caught my eye um, the PlayStation little design they did like a couple years ago that you'll see on screen right now with Denzel Curry wearing it that is one of my favorite designs that stray rats has done probably maybe my favorite um, just because I used to own it and and it was the like one image that put me onto the brand actually. I thought it was so sick when I saw it. Uh, Stray Rats is definitely on the up. I will say that some of the items they drop are kind of boring. Like I'd say there's one or two really banging items like every season they do, which is kind of disappointing, but what can you expect? And I guess it's all personal preference. Last brand I'm gonna be talking about today is called Cavamp. Now this brand, I'm sure I'm gonna get some like people hating on me for introducing this in this video, just because like it's probably the most recognized out of all these brands in this video. It's a Japanese brand, that's why I'm introducing it into this video because it's very well known in Japan streetwear, uh, like just culture. However, over here in the States, I don't see Cavamp get as much attention, which I think is very unfair because it is definitely one of the most, if not the most original um, designing like brand in my opinion. Just the designs that this brand makes are unreal. Like you can just look at them and there's so many different elements to each design. Like you can just tell there's hours put into some of these designs they do. And the visuals of it is just amazing. Um, they put cab vent in the most obscure spots. They stretch it out in every way. Like they, this brand literally just pushes um, the like boundaries of design in every way that seems every season. In. They have so many just really good material, um, just crazy original pieces, and their website is insane. This brand is just so so cool to me. Some of the like designs go for a ton of money just because like in Japan it's super popular. I'm disappointed it's not as popular over here in the states just because um, it's such an out there brand. Maybe that's why it's not as crazy here. Um, I don't know. I love Cabempt as a brand. I used to have a couple pieces. I'm planning on getting more because I sold all my old pieces, and I will have some for sale soon actually. Um, um, yeah, Cavempt is a crazy, crazy brand. Definitely probably the most original when it comes to designs in this entire list. So that's the end of my little list, you guys. Please do let me know out of every single brand that I mentioned in this video, which is your favorite, as well as if you'd heard of any of these brands before, because I'm curious uh, how well these brands are actually recognized by people like you guys. The people that watch my videos are definitely part of the target audience by a lot of these streetwear brands. Also, let me know in the comments down below if there's any brand I didn't mention in this video that you think deserves some recognition I might make a video about it who knows I'm always loving to introduce new unknown brands just because I'm trying to put you guys on to some stuff you haven't heard about because it's like I can talk about supreme every week but I feel like I'm not expanding your guys' um, knowledge of streetwear and what that's what's saying I really want to do on my channel I can do a supreme video every day super easily but I feel like I'm not expanding your guys' like horizons when it comes to streetwear and just your brand knowledge and I want to do that for you guys I want to try to introduce you guys to some new ideas some new looks and just like expand push uh, uh, your comfortability so please let me know if you guys enjoyed this video if you'd like more like this and I can totally do that for you guys I've asked you to comment 50 billion things so if you have not left a comment on this video yet what are you doing uh, thank you guys so much for watching videos every day this week I promise you guys uh, I love you all so much we just hit over a hundred thousand views on this channel that is crazy you guys like that blows my mind I'm so inspired and just motivated right now to make videos for you guys every day I can't stop moving my hands around because I'm so excited uh, it's been your boy boo I'm merely rocking out of this video because I'm cringy as hell. Oh man, bro. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all. Peace.